Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to part 23 here on sololearn.com, Introduction to C++ Programming. Today's lesson is Arrays in Calculations. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a really quick lesson. Uh, just one question, but uh, we've got to go through it nevertheless. So, Arrays in Calculations. Uh, the following code creates a program that uses a for loop to calculate the sum of all elements. So here's a good use case of this data structure um, in an array. So we're initializing our array, our data structure, as an integer array, and uh, we're not giving it a specific, um, you know, memory allocation uh, limit. But uh, we are setting our data, or we are setting our data right here uh, on the fly with this, uh, you know, collection initializer. And we're declaring an integer of sum, and we're storing the value of zero in there. Now we're creating our uh, standard for loop. And uh, what we're going to do is we have this variable sum. So every time it goes through the loop, it's going to say, okay, array of 0 is equal to 11. And, and it's going to add that on to sum. So sum is uh, this container that is you know, continuously getting filled with uh, the next element in the array. And it's aggregating it on, um, which is what a sum is, is an aggregation. And then finally, we're going to output the sum of all these numbers. So if you take all these and you put them in a calculator, you're going to get this number right here. Um, so to review, we declared an array and a variable sum that will hold the sum of the elements. Next, we utilized a for loop to iterate through each element of the array and added the corresponding element value to our sum bucket that, you know, is just this aggregation of all the values that we, you know, uh, provide within this condition. So in the array, the first element's index is zero. Uh, so the for loop initializes the x variable to zero. Cool. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, just uploading a few videos. Um, so let's try it out for ourselves. You know, see if we can uh, really understand this concept. So fill in the blanks to calculate the sum of my array's elements using the for loop, and print to the screen. My array is an array of doubles containing four elements. Okay, so that means we're going to stop at three, and um, what we're going to want to do, you know, we're going to aggregate onto our sum. And finally, let's use the console output to print out the sum. So let's try this out. Okay, again, I messed up. Let's let's go back and check this out again. So, uh, sorry, not it's uh, it's less than. So it has it has four elements. So we're actually going to do less than four. My bad. So usually I was thinking less than or equal to three, um, but it's just less than here. So let's let's uh, console output there, and uh, good guys. Um, so that was it, guys. For um, let me make sure I have this right. That was it for part 23 um, here on sololearn.com, introduction to C++ programming. So yeah, guys, keep up the good work. Never stop learning. Never stop coding. I mean, you'll see even I make you know basic mistakes, even though I'm like I for engineer for a living. And, uh, you know, you can do it. Anyone can do it. Um, this isn't like a motivational speech, but it's all just putting in the time and putting in what I call the dirty work, right? Like, um, you really, you just got to build stuff. You got to keep going um, even when you feel like you know you're at a plateau so if you have any questions let me know otherwise guys uh, have a great day and subscribe and support the channel and uh, take care